everyone, so today's tutorial was an impromptu one. I just wanted to use the new Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. And then to complement the eyeshadow, I'm giving you three options on the lips. A nude lip, a deep berry shade with rose gold in the centre, and then a slightly lighter berry shade. Which is the same lipstick, but with a nude in the centre. So I've cleansed my skin, and I'm going in with Urban Decay's Quick Fix Hydra Charged Complexion Prep Spray. It smells like coconut, it's so nice. Then I'm going in with some of the new Diego De La Palma Geisha Lift Foundation. There are eight shades in this collection and I've got three of them. So I'm just going to be mixing a couple of shades together because the shade that's closest to my skin tone is a little bit dark which I'm going to go in with as a base and then I'm going to build it up with a slightly lighter colour. I believe this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage. I would definitely say it's more medium. I do layer this twice and I would definitely say I still didn't have full coverage but I really like that you can still see your skin through it. This is a great foundation for those of you that are normal to oily. If you've got dry skin I don't think you will like this because I've got a couple of dry patches on my cheeks and it's stuck to it. So I'm going to mix it up this week and use some concealer. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm using this to brighten underneath the eyes and through the centre of the face. As you know I don't always use concealer because I don't necessarily need it but this week I've had a few blemishes so I want a bit of extra coverage. Next I'm taking Benefit's Hoola Contour Stick. So I'm going to use this to sculpt the face and add some warmth. So I'm taking that through the hollows of the cheeks, down the sides of the bridge of the nose and around my hairline. I'm using my 125 stippling brush from Zoeva, this is from their limited edition collection. It comes in a bag and the design is sort of based on a rainbow prism so you get that really beautiful mix of colours running through the handles. I will link it in the description bar for you, as I said it is limited edition and with the bag you get 30 brushes and the bag works as a kit bag so if you are a makeup artist then you are going to love it. Christmas is coming up so why not ask your loved ones? So I finished working in the contour with my brush and I'm now going in with my beauty blender to soften it and make sure it's all pressed into the skin so it looks much more natural. Next I'm going in with a very small amount of Dermacolor foundation and I'm going to use this to spot conceal. I always like to spot conceal after I've done my contour and I'll match the colour to whatever's on my skin so if my cheeks are slightly darker I'll use a slightly darker camouflage cream. Otherwise you're just going to knock off that concealer from your skin when you're working in your contour. Once I've completed that I'm then going in with the Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder and I'm going to put a light dust in over my face. This is going to set the foundation in place but also add a tiny bit more coverage. This will also set your spot concealing into place but use a stipple motion over those areas so you don't disturb the surface of the foundation. I like to use two shades of the Multitasking Perfecting Powder. I use a lighter shade for the centre of the face and a slightly darker shade around the circumference of my face. And again, this just helps to add a bit more dimension to the skin. So this is Natasha's Sunset Palette and as you can see, it's perfect for the autumn season. The first shade I'm going to use is Bermuda. This is a creamy matte finish and I'd say it's kind of like a salmon tone. So quite peachy with orange undertones. And the brush I'm using is my Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush which is also from the limited edition set and I'm running that over the entire mobile eyelid and up into the socket area and also pulling out slightly at the outer edge. Then I'm going over that with the 225 Luxe Eye Blender. As we're working with a nice matte eyeshadow we want to make sure it blends seamlessly. Next I'm taking this medium orangey brown shade and I think it's called Sinai depending on where you're from and I'm using my Zoeva 225 brush to work that mostly on the outer edge of that socket and pulling it through. We're really going to start to build this up but I always concentrate the colour on the outer edge first and then pull what's left on the bristles through the socket. Make sure to pull that out on the outer edge so it wings out ever so slightly. Then I'm going to use my Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush to soften the edges. The next shade in the palette I'm using is called Volcano. This is a deep reddish brown and it's another creamy matte finish. Once again using my 225 brush, I'm now working that in circular motions, concentrating the majority of that colour onto the mobile eyelid on the outer third and then we're slowly going to start bringing that up into the socket. Now I'm bringing that through the socket and also towards the inner corner of the eye. Remember we're creating a halo effect so we need to keep that colour going through the socket and on the inner corner of the eye as well as the outer corner. So we're working this darker brown into that nice transition shade we've got going through the socket. I'm now dipping my brush back into Volcano and I'm reapplying that colour so we're layering it up to start building up the intensity. We want it to be quite intense but how intense is optional so it's completely up to you how far you take it. I'm using what's left on the bristles to extend the outer edge and now I'm going back in with my 227 fluffy blending brush again to soften all the edges and make sure it all blends seamlessly. 
Now we've got a nice blend, we're going to reapply some of that Volcano and basically repeat the same process to build up the intensity. I know it can be repetitive and I show you it in most of my videos but I feel like it's important to show you the layering process otherwise if I skip like a lot of YouTubers do from the first layer to the last layer it looks so intense and different you kind of feel like you've missed something or you don't know how I've achieved it. It is a case of just repetition but without showing you it's almost a bit like I've cheated the look and said oh here's how you achieve it but I don't really feel like I've shown you. I hope that makes sense. Going back to my fluffy blending brush, I'm softening the seam that runs along the very outer edge and then I'm going back to Volcano and just re-intensifying the colour on the lid, on the very outer edge and also on the very inner corner. Going back to the palette, I'm now going to mix together Volcano and Igneous. This is another matte finish eyeshadow and it's a deep brown, a bit more on a neutral side. And I'm going to apply this using a tapered brush. This is the 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush by Zoeva. I've dipped the very tip of the brush into the eyeshadows and this is going directly into the socket working it backwards and forwards to really deepen the shade. And then I'm just going over it one more time with my fluffy blending brush. Now I'm going in with my 233 cream shader brush and I'm using that to dab some concealer to the very centre of the mobile eyelid. Then using my finger in a tapping motion is going to blur out the sides and leave the centre blank ready for the next eyeshadow. The one I'm going to fill it in with is the first eyeshadow we used at the very beginning which is Bermuda. So I'm going back to my 234 brush and I'm using that to pat the colour on. Where the concealer is slightly tacky, this is just going to grab into place so you want to use a patting motion so that you can create an even finish and blend out the sides. Going back to the eyeshadow palette, I'm using the colour Atmosphere and this is a kind of coppery warm brown and it also has a slightly pearly finish. And this is going on between the very centre colour and the two browns that we've got on the outer corners. Then I'm going back to the two brown shades that we've mixed together and this time I'm using my Blank Canvas Cosmetics E10 brush and I'm using this to redefine the inner corner and outer corner using that brown and also slightly through the socket. This is like using a fluffy blending brush but a very smaller scaled version which allows you to be more precise with where you use it. I'm now going to work underneath the eye so I'm going back to Bermuda which is the first colour we used and I'm using what's left on the bristles from the brown shades and mixing those together to run that underneath the lower lash line. And you just want to smoke that out, making sure you connect that with the outer corner of the top lid and also all the way to the inner corner. Going back to Volcano, which is the medium reddish brown shade in the palette, and using my 317 winged liner brush from Zoeva, I'm running that directly underneath those lower lashes. If you decide you don't want to wear eyeliner like I'm going to do along the waterline, then definitely make sure you do this step because it will frame your eye. I'm going to use Ico's Sport Waterproof Eyeliner along the waterline. I'm always getting asked for recommendations on eyeliner because I know a lot of you struggle with it staying put. Some of you have watery eyes etc so this will be a really great one for you because as I said it is waterproof. As you can see I'm using a black eyeliner but you could definitely use a brown one for this look, you don't have to use black. I'm also going to run that along the top lash line and there is a brush on the opposite side of this eyeliner which I'm going to use to smudge out the black. The brush itself is short and dense which is great for smudging. Even though I've got some extensions on, they are due an infill, so I'm going to pop on some lashes. These ones are Tiffany Does Lashes. The style I'm using are So Fetch. Then I'm going to apply some Big Shot Mascara by Maybelline to my lower lashes. As you know, I've been a fan of this mascara for quite some time now. It came out earlier in the year and I've used it ever since. Going back to the face, I'm taking some of my NARS Laguna Bronzer, which you can see is well loved. And my favourite brush for cheeks, which is the 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush, also by Zoeva also from the limited edition brush set and I'm dusting that around the circumference of my face. For blush it has to be Love a Blush by Ila Masca, you know it's a favourite of mine. The brush I'm using is the 132 Luxe Powder Finish Brush, again also from the limited edition set. So now I'm going to take some Cover Effects Enhancer Drops, this one is in rose gold, I'm going to apply a very light amount to the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow and then using a pointy silicone brush I'm applying some of that to the very inner corners of my eyes along the tear duct area. And then just for you guys, I'm adding a very small amount to the tops of my cheekbones. I want this to be super subtle, so I'm going to press that into the skin using my Beauty Blender. So the first of the three lip options is the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy Sculpting Lipstick in Insatiable Ivory. As you can see, this is the perfect nude for this kind of coloured eye. It's definitely more of a peachy nude rather than a pinky nude. And as you know, I'm all for a nude lip, so it's definitely my favourite. Next up is a lipstick from the new collection by ASOS. This one is a creamy matte lipstick in the shade Doubtless. 
as you can see this is a deep berry shade it isn't the most full coverage in terms of pigment payoff but it layers well and it also doesn't stain the lips which I really like and although it says it's a matte finish it definitely has that nice creamy texture so it's not dry in just to zhuzh it up a little I'm adding a very small amount of the rose gold highlighter just to the center of my lips again everything's optional but as the festive season is on the approach a little bit of metallic to the lip can be really really pretty I'm then going to take this off, reapply the berry shade and then I'm going to add a small amount of peach stock by MAC to the centre of the lip, adding a bit more of a halo effect to the lips which also matches in with the eyes. Let me know in the comments section which lip look is your favourite. The winner of my giveaway from last week is Crafty Lou. Now keep your eyes peeled because I have a couple more giveaways coming before Christmas. If you guys would like to follow me outside of YouTube, my social handles are on screen and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. My previous tutorial will also be on screen for you if you've missed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!